What's up everybody, Ricky HD, and today I wanna to talk about something that is commonly overlooked and actually is a big topic when it comes to Milwaukee Yates, and that is oil something. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, no! What it is, why it happens, and the different methods that you can do to mitigate the oil something in your motorcycle. First thing I wanna start off with is if you're somebody that rides your motorcycle in a normal, nominal RPM range, not very hard for not very long, you don't have to worry about this, skip this video, go to the next one unless you wanna learn something. So if you're somebody that rides between 2,500 and 3K, 3,500 for more than 45 minutes, I'm talking romping it all the time, this is for you and you should probably listen up because there's a lot of methods out there that are not safe for the motor, for the motor itself. And I know that everybody wants to alleviate crank pressure, but these are the steps that, the way that you go through with it. Something is not, it's not a new issue. Something has been going on for a long time for everything from an Evo to the twin cams, Everybody has had something issues, but the reason that it's more uh, prominent in the Milwaukee Eights so and why it's such an issue is because if you look at the bottom of the cases, it's shallower for the oil to flow in and out. There's another little thing in there that Harley decided to put in there to take out the rumble and the, the wobble of the motor, which is called a counterbalancer, which is basically a gear that goes like this really, really fast. When the when the oil sucks back in, what happens is it goes to that counterbalancer, and when it's fucking spewing around like this, it's frothing the oil. It's it's putting the oil into into cavitation, which means it just is a big word for frothy. It's making it all bubbly, and it's slinging it up into the into the cylinders. It's slinging it up over the crank, and that is where the problem lies. You see, the piston cylinders actually, the piston rings are smaller. There's lower surface area for the oil to get through and just all together is just a lot smaller and, and less, uh, less applicable for the Milwaukee Yates than it was for the twin cams and the Evo motors, which I don't know why they would do that. That's why it's such a problem when it slings that oil everywhere and it's getting in there and people are like, oh, well, I'll just uh, put breather bolts and have that dump out of, out of my intake and that creates the, a good issue. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't. In order for those piston rings to seal properly, to expand, you need the motorcycle in a vacuum state. The motor itself needs to be in a vacuum state. If you've ever looked at any kind of oil or liquid or whatever that is in a vacuum, then you'll notice that the vacuum actually takes all the bubbles, all the aeration out of the, out of the fluid, whatever it may be. The motor itself needs to be in a vacuum state. So when you add those external breather bolts and you drop it to a catch can, you're taking away that vacuum state. Now it's just an open intake, which is gonna create more cavitation and more problems as you go down the road. So the first number one thing that you should do, if this is really something that you're serious about, if you romp your motorcycle, you need to upgrade your cam plate and your oil pump. Because when that oil is cavitating and it's frothing and it's doing all this, it's hard for that oil pump, the stock OEM oil pump, to pump that oil because it's full of bubbles, it's full of air. That's the first things you should do. Now, there's two companies out there, Trask Performance and Fueling, that are making some pretty badass products. The Vented Dipstick, before you say anything, I, let me explain. The Vented Dipstick, does not take it out of a vacuum state because it has a little flap, so the pressure, the crankcase pressure can release, but the flap shuts, so that way it keeps all the pressure in. So the crank pressure releases, but it keeps it in a vacuum state. And the only thing I've heard bad about it is that oil gets everywhere, and you need to properly run the oil line up and around underneath the frame somewhere higher than where the intake is. And now the next one is one I'm actually building right now, and it's the transmission cover. So the transmission cover has three separate compartments. One is already vented, but I think it's just a, really like a runoff. The, the one next to it is where all the pressure from the crank comes in. And I think that Harley Davidson meant to fucking put a, a pressure release there, but they didn't because it is set up perfectly for it. So what happens there is you don't have to worry about it staying in this, in this vacuum state because when the pressure from the crank releases, it's going to go straight up into the hose and, and it's going to go out of there, which actually might be better venting than the actual dipstick in the oil. Right now, I'm in the process of building my own because Trask wants way too much money for it and all it is is a, uh, a little fitting and it runs to a hose and the hose runs to a filter and you run that up into the panel into the side panel of your, if you're a bagger guy, that's all it is. And it's literally to release the crank pressure 
alleviating those something issues. Well, again, if you're somebody that rides your bike in a nominal range of RPMs, you're just a weekend warrior, you don't need to worry about this. If you're somebody that romps your shit, worry about this because oil something is a big deal and it's it's something that is gonna, over time, is gonna tear your motor apart. First thing you should do, upgrade your cam plate, upgrade your oil pump. Don't do the aeration from, the, or not the aeration, but don't do the external breathers from the from the breather bolts. Don't do that because that creates a non-vacuum environment for the pistons. They don't seal as well inside of the jug. They it, it creates more of the cavitation or the frothiness of that oil. So don't do that. The vented dipstick from fueling is a good idea if you get it from fueling. Don't make your own because unless you know how to engineer their little pockets, and I'll, I'm going to put some little, I'll put them in the video. Unless you can engineer it exactly how they did, don't because they did it the right way. So that way the crank pressure can release, but no, it doesn't take away from the vacuum seal inside of the motor. And with the trans cover, once I get it made and I put it in the bike, I will hop back on here and I'll let you know what's going on, but I'm pretty sure that the trans cover is going to be the best way to alleviate that crank pressure and the something issues. So if you have any questions, as always, hit me up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, share this video for somebody that may need to see it or somebody that just thinks that they're gonna go put, you know, external breathers on the breather bolts. Have them watch this video first. Until next time, peace.